Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my Whipsnade Zoo recreation in Planet Zoo. Um, I'm starting this build pretty late in the week actually. Um, I've been doing a few other bits you might have seen um, just after I did last week's episode I put out my tutorial for the lined pools so what I talked about in the last one this kind of pool here um, if you are interested in how to make one of these yourself then have a look at my lined pools tutorial um, which is here on the channel um, it's just is about a half hour just goes through how to make a basic sort of type of pool like this and how to kind of blend it in how to customize it how to make it look exactly how you like so yeah check that out if you are interested but anyway this week um, I said that I would do something that we have animals for in the game so um, although it's not the right species I am going to do the bison this week so um, we have European bison at Whipsnade and um, the game obviously has American bison but um, that's good enough for me so I'm gonna put the American bison in this enclosure here so this building here is the house and then we've got this enclosure um, all this this stuff is all separate um, even though it's kind of linked in certain places so um, it'll be focused on that house and this enclosure so it's, it's a fairly basic um, enclosure in terms of the actual paddock itself it's quite quite bare really there's quite a few logs and bits um, uprights and things uh, on this side there's a bit of terrain like a little hill and things um, and there's some sand and things um, up in this area too uh, otherwise that's pretty much it for the paddock itself quite basic so it should be fairly simple to do um, the planting wise is there's some patches of nettles otherwise it's just long grass the planting itself is all mainly around the outside so um, I as I said I'm starting it quite late and I don't have a huge amount of time so I'll probably focus mostly on the enclosure itself and not some of the areas around it but I'll see how I go because um, you never know I might be able to do a bit more than I thought I'd be able to um, so in terms of the house what we've got here so this is quite an quite an old building um, it's I think one of the original buildings uh, that was built for the zoo as far as I know or at least a very early building so um, it's got this whole area here is a quite a big yard and um, which is slightly sloped so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge um, and then in here we've got a kind of shelter it's kind of a lean-to almost so there's no actual front on this part but then this part in here is enclosed so um, the as I said I'm, I'm not doing internal bits of buildings but anything that you can kind of see from the outside I'm gonna try and make look accurate so I'll, I'll see what I can do for the kind of view that you'll get from over here um, but yeah I won't go into detail in, in the the rest of the inside there's a kind of raceway that goes along this bit which connects to some stables here which I won't be doing but I'll do the raceway and stuff um, and then over here is where the entrance is to this uh, undercover part of the yard and the storeroom, the keepers area and then on the side here we've got a nice kind of um, cave art sort of mural thing so I'm not sure what I'll put on that side but um, I'll try and think of something um, to put on there but yeah so it should be fairly simple fencing wise there is the main fence and then there is a standoff fence that runs all the way around the public sort of side so um, all the way down here there's a double fence up to that point and then that is all double fencing as well between the two paddocks um, and then this is all single so yeah that will uh, that will be it I think for this enclosure if I do have any spare time I'll probably if I'm going to do other areas I will focus more on this patch to blend in this bit from the hunting dogs in with this fence line down here and there's quite a lot of fencing around uh, planting sorry around this bit and the pathing is not is not accurate I've just kind of put it in 
um, as a marker so yeah there's there's a lot of stuff all around here and again it's one of those areas that's quite heavily um, wooded um, in this whole area so it's quite difficult even just the scale of the building to get it accurate so hopefully I'm, I'm trying to do it by eye really this one and hopefully it will look okay um, but yeah I'm sure we can get something that resembles the actual enclosure itself so I will put some pictures in of the enclosure itself and I'll see you when it's finished Okay guys, we're back and we're finished with the bison enclosure. So, um, since the actual paddock itself and everything is quite plain, I thought I'll start there because the house is a bit more in depth, a bit more to look at there. So yeah, we'll start with the paddock and the bits around there. So, um, one of the main things we've got in here is quite a few logs and things like that. Um, these, a lot of these are a bit newer, um, but they are basically just for the bison to rub on, to hang browse off, um, things like that. So there's quite a few of them in there. Um, there's a couple of uh, logs lying down as well um, as the upright ones. Um, the only other main feature in here is this little hill here which has got a lot of nettles and things um, that grow out of it for some reason. Um, I've also had to hide a little patch of water just down in here um, because the trough that they have uh, the bison can't actually use properly so um, I've made just a little pool there so that they uh, don't keep getting the um, dehydrated um, issue. Um, there's a few little patches of like dirt and sand and things and then this area down here around the gate to the house is all sand. So. I've made that all proper sandy there. Um, on this side, this continues the hedgerow that we've got from down where we did the cranes. So um, this is all like hawthorn and stuff like that. Um, there's there's a bit more to do sort of underneath and make it all blend in properly. And I I didn't do um, a lot of this stuff down this side just because I um, didn't have as much time. So yeah, I'll um, I'll fill all that sort of stuff in at a later date and then. On the other side here, um, this is just another standoff fence, um, and this has just got a few trees in it um, and some grass, so nothing too fancy. Um, the fencing I I decided to use, so this this fence line down here on the inside is actually an electric fence, so I've used the proper electric fence there. This fence around here um, and all the way around the rest of it some of the actual yard fencing as well is all sort of an iron bar fence and I thought because of the piece count and everything it would just be ridiculous to try and get the whole thing to be a custom fence especially with the amount of pieces that I'd need to make the the look of it right so I thought I'll go for the just the electric fence because it's got these nice like quite thin strands that go all the way across and that kind of matches what we want the look of so I've used that I've just replaced all the posts with the chain link posts so it looks a little bit better than the electric post um, I might actually change these ones too um, along the front is all just chain link um, fencing and then this one over here is is a custom fence so it's just one long stretch all the way down there um, it's got kind of these normal fencing at the bottom with the wood and then the top has just got these sort of metal strands so in their place I've just used the African bunting rope because um, that works quite well I think so yeah that goes all the way down there I haven't done any of the, um, the stuff on this side because this bit to this side is where the chimps are so that's going to be quite a big build because there's a lot of different elements to that so I've, I've thought I'll leave all this side in 
uh, blank and then I can blend it all together when I do the chimp bit because um, none of it's even laid out yet so I don't want to do stuff there and then it's all actually wrong so yeah I've left that side and down here we've, I've just put the fencing for that side in um, and left all the stuff for that paddock. I have sorted all the terrain and bits out so hopefully that should all work when I want it to um, but yeah otherwise that is it really for the paddock um, quite a simple one in terms of the path I have put the path in up to this point it's just kind of a dirt path so I've used this even though it's annoying with these little wooden, pit, wooden bits in but I've used that path anyway because that works um, for what we want so um, the actual house and yard so this is where the good stuff is so um, it's quite as I said quite an old building um, and it's kind of an interesting one it's, it's been quite interesting to actually replicate so uh, the main portion of the house for the animals is this bit here so it's, as I said there's no front to it it's just kind of a, a shelter really there's no no proper stable there um, and that is just kind of a bit bedding at the top but it's just breeze blocks concrete that sort of thing um, this whole bit is concrete as well this is an actual yard so that I've just changed the colour of it to make it as a little bit more sort of sandy coloured uh, instead of the proper grey because I think it looks a bit nicer and, and actually probably a bit more realistic it is more that kind of colour rather than like pure grey so yeah that is that is the main animal shelter um, the bison can actually use it which is good um, I think the proportions are slightly off for this gate because I think it was three and a half meters wide they need to be able to get through the gap and in reality that I don't think is three and a half meters but I thought I'll, go, I'll compromise so that the bison can actually use the yard because it'd be quite nice for them to use it since there's not a huge amount of like, features on the outside um, of the paddock so yeah I thought it'd be quite cool if they can actually get in there um, this is the little drinker that I was talking about so they've got just like a wall mounted one that's refillable and I've just kind of made it out of one of the small water bowls and just a couple of these, um, I can't remember what they're called, braces or, pl I can't remember, some sort of metal planky sort of square, um, so that is their little drinker. And this bit is just a, a really random keeper area, so I think the idea is there is a um, some doors, some stable doors on this side, so this is where you would access the uh, mechanism to open that door, so it's just a kind of safe area that you can stand in and access this slide, uh, instead of being in the uh, the actual yard if there were animals um, in certain areas, so it's just, yeah, just a little standoff bit, so I've made it out of bamboo and just coloured it black to look like painted metal bars. Um, this bit is a raceway so this just goes all the way down the side and then that is the axis for the two stables um, which don't get used very often but there are there are um, there are stables there that are enclosed um, the actual gates were quite awkward to make because um, they're kind of interesting they're on these runners that go along the top and yeah interesting elements but I think they've turned out pretty well so they've got a runner at the top and I've used these little pieces to make it where the uh, the bits join the runner and then just a kind of fairly simple actual gate itself that's got a bit to slide down into so that is um, that is the paddock gate and then this one I've just used the same, same principle just altered slightly so it's a little bit lower, um, a little bit narrower I think slightly uh, so yeah they're the two um, two gates if we go over here so this is a custom fence as well but I've used the planet one of the actual fence pieces to make it so it's just two of the, the fence pieces stacked on top of each other and then these wooden posts in between so I think this, this has turned out nicely this looks pretty accurate to what the, um, the actual fence line is so there's yeah, quite a few different fence types all, all in this one area um, but that made it a little bit more interesting a little 
um, stepping stones um, pathway over to the gate, to the access gate, and then there's this little mound here with some nettles and things on it. If we go down to this side of the building, I did put some guttering on because I thought I might as well since the paddock itself didn't take very long I thought I'd spend a bit more time on the house and put some guttering on. So there's guttering on that side and on this side which we'll get to in a second so um, this fence is just temporary um, as a placeholder so I know exactly um, where it needs to go but um, this is where the access is so there's a little storeroom there and then this is the access into the main um, bit that we just saw and I've used this hose pipe piece which is quite cool um, just a little bit awkward to get it so that there's not the frame sticking out but I've managed to get it so it's just the hose and the tap itself which is good um, so yeah that is that part um, and that is this is where the actual keepers access door is for the in-game stuff so that works quite well uh, and now this I think this is actually works out really well um, it's as I said yeah, I've, I've shown in the pictures the um, there's this kind of mural piece that is along here it's kind of like a cave art thing and although this isn't actually accurate to what is on this wall in terms of the actual colors and things like that and the size and everything it's it's pretty good and it's got the bison on it which is great so I've just put a couple of those on there together um, to replicate that and it's yeah it's pretty good um, I think I would have struggled to try and make something that would work I probably would have just put a plain kind of um, art piece or something on there just to show that there would be something there but this is nice it it gives it something um, a bit more designy um, and yeah this is the yeah guttering on that side the roofs are all, all just made with corrugated stuff I couldn't get the proper roof pieces to work which is annoying but um, it's something that I struggle with quite a lot because this build is the scale um, there's a lot of pieces that just don't suit the whole 4 meter by 4 meter thing so yeah I've made my own um, but yeah it's not too bad it's got a bit of a trim around it as well wooden trim and um, a bit on the roof uh, on the top now this bit this is all public viewing so that fence I've just copied from somewhere else I can't remember I think over this fence here um, just a simple wooden fence as a little standoff and then we've got some pillars here brick pillars that are joined to the fence um, this is a custom gate that I've made to kind of replicate what is there um, at the end of this raceway and then this I found a really good tutorial um, a little trick tutorial it was just Goron I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but um, they are making Beeksbergen Zoo um, which is in the Netherlands I think um, which is really cool you should check it out and they did a video of this trick where you can get fence pieces to be less than two meters long um, and when I saw that I thought that would be perfect for this little corner here so we've got all these small fence pieces um, there, there, this little tiny one there and that little one there and instead of trying to make them go through walls and, and look still look right and especially these ones like that little one from there to there just would have been impossible um, but yeah get, using their trick that they found out it's um, it's worked really well so yeah go check that one out if you're looking to do some really tiny little fence pieces like this um, so planting wise at the front as I said this whole bit here is kind of wooded area it's a car park all this bit here and then there's more woodland there but there's a lot of trees and stuff in the car park just dotted about so I've put a few that are just major ones right next to the actual building itself to blend it in a bit and make it just make it look a little bit less empty and a bit nicer um, while we don't have all the other stuff around it because um, otherwise it would look really bare all down here but um, yeah there, there will be a lot more trees and things all around here um, 
all that area still to do on the side and all this stuff here on the front but I need to kind of plan the chimps and bits out before I get that done. Um, so yeah we just carried the fence line, uh, the path sorry, just down here roughly um, just so there's access there and access along the front. Um, not that we have any visitors in still because um, the zoo is still listed as being closed to keep any lag at bay if I can so yeah that is the um, the bison enclosure. Fairly simple paddock wise but the actual building itself is quite nice to do and I think it's turned out looking pretty good. That I think that makes it, that is one thing that is, really makes it look more accurate compared to if that was missing. I think it just brings that extra little bit to it. So yeah that is our European bison enclosure which we have got American bison in as a placeholder. I doubt we'll probably get European bison. Um, I'd be surprised if we did but you never know if we get some sort of European DLC um, maybe they will show up um, at some point and we can replace them but it's, I don't think it's too bad having the, um, the American bison in there instead. So yeah that is our European bison enclosure. Um, uh, next episode again as I always say not sure I might do that a bit more around here um, this is where our zebra stallion lives normally so uh, that one is again fairly basic enclosure um, similar to this one really like planting around the edges and stuff but um, more just a grassy grassy field with a little shelter in it at the end um, that actual building will be again a, a bigger part of it really um, and there's the um, buildings and bits just all around here this little gardener's building uh, we've got a lot of planting and stuff all down here and yeah quite a few quite a few bits around here to do um, there's also I, I'm quite excited to do this bit here um, this is um, like one of the main roads but it's it's really nice and you'll see when I get to it why it's going to be quite a nice one to do so um, yeah that will that will come at some point um, my other option that I've been thinking about is doing coming back down this way and trying to do some of this this is another area that's like really wooded this sort of chunk here so it's really hard to get scale and all that sort of stuff but I have got some pictures and things of it so it is a potential this is the old Red River Hog paddock which hasn't got anything in currently but um, it's it's quite nice it's got like two halves and it, it's quite cool looking so um, yeah that might be a possible the lines I'm quite excited about as well because that actual building would be pretty cool when it's all finished and the viewing area and stuff um, and then the oryx paddock so the oryx might be a good one and um, it's one I know quite well and I've worked in there a lot um, so yeah another possible there's lots of options as always but um, yeah I will, I'll have a think and decide on what to do next so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see any future videos in the series um, and any other videos that I make as I said I might try and do any more tutorials of things I think might be useful or um, just random other builds things like that I've, I've also got an idea of a another series of um, tips and tricks for realism stuff um, in relation to a zookeeper's point of view so I think that will be hopefully quite an interesting one for people um, and I've not seen much of that about um, from what I've seen on YouTube so yeah that will um, that will hopefully be something I can get done as well it's just trying to fit in all these different ideas but I'm sure I'll get around to everything at some point um, so yeah uh, if you have any thoughts suggestions anything like that please leave a comment as well um, and I'll see you in the next one